All right, guys. I don't know how to say this, but I haven't been honest. I know this channel has been about finance and dividend investing for the most part, but I decided to try a little bit something different. I have zero in the account right now, but I've been options trading. <laughs> One of my subscribers reached out to me and tried to put me on it, and I thought it was a neat idea. I decided to just dabble in a little bit, if you please. I just took all my bag held crypto. So it was like maybe like $800 of bag held crypto, as you guys can see. The crypto was like going down. It was going up for a bit, and then it went down this whole time. And then this sudden spike is literally just that options contract. So all I did was buy three options or seven options contract out of the money. I added more because I felt like I was it was going to keep going up. So I still bought in pretty early. I bought some Disney options. They were about at, uh, let me see if I can go to the notifications and we can look at it. I bought some Disney options, one at first and then, yep, see it if you guys can see. It was one contract and then six. I'm taking it out instead of putting it back in any more options, but I just wanna let you guys know that I was just honestly, I would call it beginner's luck just because I had an idea of what I was doing, but it wasn't with full comprehension or research about what options is. I did a little bit more research a lot further down the line, but I'm just taking this win and I'm gonna actually max out my savings account this video. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. If you guys do want an options video, I'd definitely be down to try. I think before we do that though, I want to increase my dividend portfolio to about five to 10K first before we do that. Definitely a blessing. I won't take it for granted. I'll take my earnings and go. My main goal with the money is to make my savings 10K. I know I said my goal was maybe 12K, but I just wanna max it out at 10K because I think 12 is slightly a little bit excessive since it usually should be only three to six months of expenses, but you never know what will happen. So 10K is a good number for me now. What I'm also gonna do is split my paycheck as normal, but there's one more piece of news I wanna share with you guys. It's that I'm actually gonna be retiring the old budgeting sheet only because I made a new one. It's gonna be available just like all the other files or spreadsheets that I've been sharing with you guys. So just click the link in the description below if you guys are interested. This one's gonna be more catered to me though. So like I said, if you guys are interested, please feel free to change it and up in any way you like once you save your own copy. But once again, I just wanna reiterate that this is a one-time thing. I'm no longer gonna be doing options, especially as of now. It's a lot of money for me, so I just wanna make sure I'm smart about it. There's a lot of change distributions as well with my budgeting sheets. I no longer have to save. I'm actually gonna be saving uh, differently, as you guys can see once we get to it. For now, I do wanna grow my dividend portfolio to about five to 10K before I start trading options again and even if it hits that number I'm only going to use five to ten percent of that portfolio worth to play or trade with options. With that being said I know it's been a long intro but thank you guys for joining me and let's go ahead and budget like we do as always. What's going on guys on the budgeting sheet now the new one but before we begin I just want to give a quick shout out to Christian and all of my recent subscribers who have been reaching out and talking to me. I love to see that there's other people like me who are in a similar uh, financial freedom uh, mindset. It really means a lot to me that you guys are reaching out. It makes me feel like I'm not alone and that you guys are actually appreciating and enjoying the content. So I will keep this up for as long as possible and hopefully I'm able to put out other types of videos for you guys and not just budgeting. But with that being said, let's go ahead and start this new budgeting sheet. Just a new preface for this budgeting sheet. I have revamped them a little bit, just the name for the most part besides the new one I made. So Evo, I kind of like Pokemon and dinosaurs and I've been playing Jurassic World recently. Off topic, but they have evolutions and I feel like this is a fun way to track these budgeting sheets. So we have budgeting for bills, that's gonna be evolution zero. The first evolution is gonna be aggressive investing and saving. That's when you don't have to worry about bills anymore and you have that on auto pay or you've already considered that. So most of your paycheck is gonna be investing and saving. And this is my path to millionaire budgeting sheet and this one is evo 2 there might be evo 3 evo 4 who knows we'll see in the future so but for now we're just gonna stick with this one and i promise you guys i made it bougie so on the new budgeting sheet this is my personal one but if you guys click on that link in the description below and choose the budgeting sheet you like make sure you hit file and then make a copy so you guys can have your own copy 
because the budgeting sheet that you guys see is ones that everyone can see so if you request access or anything to edit it everyone can see your numbers and we don't want that i have some instructions here but i'll just run through it as we work through it just so i can explain to it so for this new budgeting sheet i've actually auto expanded it for at least 100 rows so i plan to use it for a while we have a total budgeted section but it's going to be pretty similar to the last one as well as a new stats page i have a net worth tracker on the side we have total budgeted network breakdown as well as a uh, network tracker chart so and we also have this is for the network breakdown this left side so we're just going to input some numbers here and it's going to see how much of our money is actually being put in certain places for miscellaneous assets feel free to put that uh as whatever you guys think are worth or considered as assets i think they're anything that uh hold or retain value or at least make you some sort of money so you guys can put that in miscellaneous assets like i said i have some pokemon investments like pokemon cards so i'm not gonna put them in this time because i'm just recording this early and i don't have time to go through all of it but i'll probably do it another day but for now let's go ahead and go back to the budgeting sheet and let's get started the millionaire path to success budgeting sheet my tip out in the last week was 114 dollars uh the date today's date is gonna be the 14th which is valentine's day happy valentine's day to everybody uh 1424 and this is gonna be my tip out and my distributions are 60 percent investing 20 percent saving for a house five percent cash and i'll actually put that in the investing account just so i have some cash on the sidelines if anything were to happen so I can average cost down in quickly or anything. And then we also have self-improvement at 15%. My discretionary before was 10%, but I wanna change the title name to self-improvement because I plan to use this money not to eat out because I wanna avoid that as much as possible, but for anything health related, I think when I do become a millionaire or financially free, I'm not gonna skimp out on any health conscious choices like eating healthier. So this self-improvement section is 15% for healthier meals to cook at home and whatnot. So, but of course, if you guys wanna change the numbers, make sure you just uh, click whatever section or header you are in, like how you guys see the blue is highlighted, change the percentage. So this is 5% right now, but you can change it to whatever. And then if you wanna drag it down, you just click on this little blue knob in any column and then just drag it all the way down and it'll carry that formula all the way down but as you guys can see we also have the total budgeted section which is now going into work this is just adding up basically everything that we have made recently so yeah so we are investing 68 dollars 40 cents today 22.80 cash 570 and self-improvement is going to stay in my checking account at 17.10 and like i said we're not going to be doing savings anymore the house is actually going to be the new savings so we're just going to put it in 20 percent to savings now since i've already maxed it out at 10k as you guys can see in the next clip so let's go ahead and go to apple savings moving on to apple savings as you guys can see I've been using my card a lot recently, which is why you see the monthly activity be at $9 or in daily cash. But let's go ahead and go to savings account. I've already added it up. Our balance is now at $5,073.68, but we're gonna make it hit 10K. So we're gonna hit add money. And it's 49, 49.12 with the money that I have budgeted today for the house. Like I said, this is just to safeguard my money. So boom, just like that, we are at $10,022.80. There's a big significant increase here and I hope this savings account grows safely so I don't have to worry about it and we can start saving for other assets like a house. And I do plan to buy in full, but we'll see where the future takes me. But I'm, I'm super happy to say that my savings is now at 10K and most of my money moving forward can actually go towards investing now. Now onto the Fidelity account. As you guys can see, there's actually been a slight increase in my account with the balance, but also a slight decrease due to today's gain slash loss. But that's all right. I also just want to share with you guys that I also got 30 shares of uh realty income so that places our shares at 10 and like i said as my plan for these next upcoming episodes just to even out my portfolio a little bit more so i plan to buy a little bit more apple as well as some financial stocks today 
So let's go ahead and transfer in some money now. Boom, just like that, we have added, I think, 7410 into the account. So we are now at $2,700.78, as well as 89 cents. Let's go ahead and get to trading. Now into the positions tab, once the trading is done, as you guys can see, let me move my head for you guys. Bye bang So we have picked up some more Apple stock. I picked up 20 shares each. Let me refresh this to see if it works. There we go, that looks a lot better. So we have picked up $20 of American Express. I think it looks the same actually, but whatever. I've picked up some American Express as an extra add to my financial sector. I think American Express is super cool. I love all their products. I have their gold cards, so they've been doing good for me. So I might as well buy their stock. Like I said, we're going for stuff that is simple, easy to understand, and stuff that I believe in. And then we've also picked up $20 of Apple. I decided to pick up some Apple today to average cost down. I think they've been red this like past whole week, so not bad at all. And then the last thing I have picked up today is $20 of JPM. That's just to boost my financial sector section. So let's go ahead and update the portfolio tracker sheet as well as you guys can see, we have $14.29 in the account. I wanna keep this a increased balance as every budgeting or week pass by. So just in case we can buy stock in the future, if any event were to occur. But bang, I'm back. But just real quick, I also wanna reiterate that I am willing to pull out of my savings just in case there is a market crash because that's the best time to go in. It took a while for it to update, but Fidelity actually finally showed up with the numbers. As you guys can see, we are now updated and we have added American Express as one of our positions. Let's go ahead and add them into the financial sector. And let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. So we now make 74.42 annually, which is super fun to say, which is equating to 620 monthly and 20 cents daily. As for diversification, hopefully this little gap between all these bigger ones and little ones decrease. So they're all about the same. The dividend log, only JP Morgan still as my dividends as of January. So we don't need to worry about that. Now moving on to the stats section. As you guys can see, since we started budgeting, the stats section is adding up right now. So let's go ahead and reflect our portfolio number. So we're at 2780.15, oh, 2780.15, 10, well, 22.80. So our savings at 10K and cash, I would say I probably have about uh, $100 right now just because I'm a server. So I, I need to have cash on me for tips and change. So it looks like our network breakdown is majority savings at 77.7%, .7%, but I definitely plan to make the investing portfolio outpace this. So that's why we have the investing split up to be 60%. So hopefully that grows quickly and cash at 0.8%. And like I said, I do have some miscellaneous assets, which is my Pokemon collection, but we're not gonna worry about that for now. And our net worth for, I'm gonna put it as January, but we'll do this again at the end of February. It's gonna be at 12K and 95 cents, so almost 13K. So as you guys can see, the network tracker also makes a little blip right here so we can see how much we are worth. And hopefully that number keeps going up and not down at all. Just to give you guys an example, if I do change this number, say I did lose money that uh, next following by the end of the month, it will go down. So, and in 20, uh, 25, I actually plan to keep going with this. So as you guys can see, if we input in some numbers, it'll keep tracking it. So I hopefully this section is a little bit fun for you guys and you guys can see your net worth grow. And there we have it. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Real Episodes. On this episode of Build Wealth With Me, please check out these videos here and here. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And please share my videos, it would mean a ton to me. But thank you guys again for joining me this week. Hopefully we are able to continue to grow our portfolios and financial freedom together. That guy is too much for me, I feel like a fraud. <laughs>